<laughs> Lee Charles TV is back. Blackpool are back against Hibs. It's uh, another Scottish team. I, honestly, I know nothing about Scottish football at all, to be honest. All I know is they come down every year, tend to beat us, go back to Scotland with the spoils. So I don't know much about them. So I can Google it. Can't. No, I'll tell you what, I've got. I've got a better idea. I've got a better idea than that. I know a couple of uh, Scottish YouTubers who might really be able to help me out. Let's have a look. We've got Gogsy. Uh, Gogsy, who's a Motherwell fan. He'll know something about him, I'm sure. And uh, who else have I got here? Uh, yeah, I've got Aaron Fraser. He's a Hearts fan. He's going to know lots about Hibs, isn't he? Because they're both Edinburgh, the Edinburgh rivalry. Right. I'll uh, just pop him a message and I'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> Right, I've messaged them both, and they're both going to send me through a bit of video telling me all about Hibs. So, uh, I'll wait for that. Right, got the video. Let's roll it. First of all, Gogsy. Hey guys, Gogsy here, and thank you very much to Lee for letting me come on his channel tonight. I believe you want to learn about Hibs. Well... What is there to learn about Hibs? Last season, they finished fifth in the Scottish Premiership in a 12-team league and got themselves into Europe to play in the Conference League. And they played on Thursday night and got the second most embarrassing result <laughs> in Scottish football history. They lost to Interclub de Scaldes of Andorra uh, in a 2-1 defeat. Uh, obviously, they've got a second leg to play at Easter Road next week. Uh, however, uh, that aside from... Lincoln Redimps beating Celtic, that is the most embarrassing result in a long line of embarrassing results that Scottish football has had to endure in recent times in European competition. It's hard to quantify what type of team Hibs would be bringing to Blackpool because, of course, well, they literally just played on Thursday, so it could be half a youth team, it could be the likes of Will Fish, who they've signed from Man United, uh, coming in to play his first uh, game since re-signing after playing last year for them and he's got an extension of another year on a loan contract. Another player that is quite dangerous for Hibs is Eli Yuan. He won the free kick in which George Newell scored from on Thursday night uh, and he is very tricky, he's good with his feet and he's very fast. Also they've just signed a £700,000 striker from uh, Rhoda JC in Holland. It'll be interesting to see how he does uh, because like it's not often a Scottish club goes out their way and spends such a high amount on a player so obviously they're putting a lot into this signing but we have no idea how he's going to play but uh, yeah hopefully that's enough of a scouting report for you Lee and I'll let him take things back over. Thank you very much for having me and I'll see you soon. Thank you very much, Gogsy. That was a great help. Gogsy came to my rescue at a uh, very short notice. So check his channel out and give him a sub as a thank you from me. Right, let's check out what Aaron had to say. Hi, Lee. Here's some information on the season that Hibs have just had. They finished in fifth place in the Scottish Premiership, one place behind City rivals Hart and Berlodian. They also exited the Scottish Cup at home with a 3 0 defeat to, <coughs> you guessed it, Hart and Berlodian as well. And for a bit of a history lesson, Hibs have won less Edinburgh derbies than Hearts, including in their own stadium, and they've also never beaten Hearts at Hampden Park, the Scotland National Stadium. In the last Scottish Cup final between the two sides in 2012, Hearts would run out 5-1 winners. So, as far as rivalries go, it's pretty one-sided. And for good measure, Hibs come into this game after losing 2-1 away to Interclub de Scaldes, and conversely qualifying, which is one of the worst results in the history. Hope that answers any questions you have, mate, on the pill. Thank you very much, Aaron. That was absolutely brilliant. And again, Aaron came to my rescue at very short notice. So check his channel out and give him a sub as well as a thank you from me. So we're going to get off to Bloomfield Road. It sounds like we've got a chance of a win. Hope you really enjoy this video if you're watching it. If you're just watching us for the first time and you're thinking, I'll tell you what, this guy's, you know, he's a bit of an idiot, but we'll follow him. All the same, there is a subscribe button just down there so if you watch the video through and you enjoy it consider subscribing i'll also put a little qr code in somewhere there as well so if you're watching our tv you can scan that on your phone and you can subscribe to us really appreciate it right let's get off to bluefield road
Okay, first uh, pre-season friendly against Hibs. Who knows? I think we can do this. I'm a little bit early because I've not got a ticket yet. I do believe that they've got the whole of the South Stand, so hopefully there's plenty of tickets left. Anyway, let's get to the ticket office. Well, it's quite a few turning up. They've got the South Stand, so we'll see how busy it is in there. Look at the queue for tickets. It's Try it, try it, try it, on the, on the front of the kids, t-shirts, shirts, I think that's good. Yeah, they've not got the gamble on the children's shirts. Where do you want to see it? Uh, where do you normally well, see it? Well, South Stand. But that's where the main reception. How are you going to do today? Fair in the platform. Connor. I'm Kevin. You can't see it? I do, yeah. yeah. Even though the, the, the bookies are against us, I think we will. Yeah, it's cool. Perform. 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. I'm going to go 2-0 Herbs. 3-0. 3-1. One. one to watch for today, Martin Boyle. He's yeah. just back from injury since October last year. Uh, he's our right winger. Right Hopefully he'll get a couple of goals today. Right, okay. right, we'll watch out for him. <laughs> Atmosphere's building. They brought quite a lot. Not as many Rangers last year, obviously. Put a strong team out. Oh, I, I think we can. I think we can win this. Talk, talking to a few Hibs fans outside and a bit down after result in midweek, but you never know. Scottish teams come here all the time and beat. So hopefully it's a good game. Just nicking in, in the front of the defender, first corner here to us. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, header! Header just over the bar. Fans are fantastic. Making loads of noise. They are very loud. Marvin Exeter just receiving in some attention, but I think he's alright. He's back on. He looks okay, but injury. <laughs> we can't start. Injury's already, jeez.
team that we're bringing a complete a new team on. Everyone off. 11 new players on, so let's see how this goes. Right, it's the final 10 minutes. It's just over the bar. That I, I thought it was going to drop in, to be honest, to make it two. Uh, this team have just not quite got it together yet, but we've only been on you know, five or six minutes. So can we hold out with this team? It would be great, wouldn't it? Foul on Rob Actor. That's a foul as well. Got around his man. Brilliant play back to Rob Actor. Right, okay, let's see how we do this. Can we get another? Scotland come down here and go back with all the three points, but this time I thought we were superb. They really were. Could have been more. Hibs had the chance since first half, I've got to be honest. But second half, they dominated it. Hibs did very little. Blackpool looks amazing. But good value for the first goal. Chris changed the whole team, brought a whole new team on. They scored two goals. Fantastic. Goals are up for the future. So. I'll be here next week, Burn Albion, first game of the season, we're looking forward to it, inspired by that. I tell you, we're going to smash League One, definitely. We are going up. What's going on here? It's all blocked off. <laughs> I have to wait until it clears a bit, I think. What's going on here? <laughs> What's going on here? I think. Oh, keeping the fans segregated. You alright? Enjoy it. Absolute chaos. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? Rocco. Teo. Tristan. What do you reckon? Class. Class. Great. Yeah. I think we might be able to win the league. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you think uh, who's your favourite player today? What do you think of the I thought Exeter was outstanding. Save yeah. the game. Yeah. 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 Exeter man of the match, would you say? I reckon Lavrin will get over 20 goals next season. How many? Lavrin will get over 20 goals. 20 goals, okay. My match at Exeter, that is. Um, Go and What do you think of Ollie Norburn and... Yeah, I love him in the field. He was really good, but nowhere near Ekpetetti. Ekpetetti was class, yeah. It was really good today. Yeah, that yeah. header from under the bar was awesome. I know. Right? I loved um, the good two got... midfielders, proper aggressive in midfield. And all right, well, that's, that's all we do it this season. Yeah. yeah. What we meet, Tom? All right, hey Tom? Enjoy the game today? Yeah, it was good. <laughs> all right. Easy win. Yeah, easy. Subscribe to Tom.
Right, the final of it is through, so we're out of gate clear. Have a nice day. Seems a little bit unnecessary there. I don't know.